to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back family and crew Today we're looking at The Maltese Falcon 1941 rated passed Because it passed the board it Doesn't really have a, a lettered rating 1 hour and 40 minutes San Francisco private detective Sam Spade takes on a case that involves him with three eccentric criminals, a gorgeous liar, and their quest for a priceless statuette with the stakes rising after his partner is murdered. Uh, based on the screenplay by Dashiell Hammett, uh, written screenplay by John Huston and directed by John Huston. This is a 1997 VHS release, black and white and color feature, 100 minutes, extras 50 minutes. Um, this Warner Brothers special edition VHS clamshell, black clamshell. It's still in the original wrapping. It came in a big collection that I got off eBay of a bunch of others, some of which are still in the wrapping somewhere, and as you can tell, it's been opened, so I'll probably rip that off and make it, you know, it's it's opened, so I'll make it completely opened. But there's uh, special features on here. We have the before the movie, original theatrical trailers of this and Satan Meta Lady, another screen version of the same story. After the movie, Becoming Attractions, the trailers of Humphrey Bogart, a documentary look at Bogart's Warner Brothers career through trailers of his classic films, hosted by Turner Classic Movies on air personality Robert Osborne. Uh, so it should be a fun watch. Obviously, Humphrey Bogart, Mary Astor, Peter Lorre. This is one of those ones that you hear about your entire life. Screw it. Um, you always kind of wonder if it's going to hold up, stand up to what you hear about it, kind of like Citizen Kane, kind of like I don't know, Apocalypse Now, stuff like that. And you get around to finally watching them and actually really enjoying them. I don't think I really, I actually watched this all the way through. So this is literally the first time this tape's ever been taken out. We're making history here, folks. There's nothing on the back. Um, proof of purchase, you know, if there's any rebates or anything. Look how nice and shiny it is in there. Uh, when HBO became HBO Max and added a bunch of classic stuff and turned to classic movies, uh, this was on there. This is one of the first ones I watched. And I actually really enjoyed it. I liked the, the noir stuff. Uh, I liked the work of Dashiell Hammond. I liked the black and white 1930s, 1940s, early 50s look of film. I liked the I liked, I just like the, the general style of that era. I really enjoy. It says the third version of Dashiell Hammett's novel. That's interesting. I'll just track down and look at the other two. Peter Lorre, Alicia Cook. Uh, it is a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. Uh, obviously, I may sound like an idiot. I don't have seen it until I was like almost pushing 40 years old. Uh, but I did like it a lot. It's a cool edition. Very, very clean, obviously, since I just opened it up. It'll be one. I might actually. Well, one, I'm going to take the trailers off there for everybody. And then I might actually watch this again. I think it's a fantastic movie. Like I said, just a black and white noir stuff. I remember when we did the. I used to project on 35mm this thing called Noir City which is like a traveling road show of a bunch of noir films that were shown on 35mm, hosted by Eddie Eddie Mueller from TCM. Uh, and talking to that guy and working with that guy a little bit kind of really reinvigorated my interest in, in the noir noir cinema and the movies from the early 40s, early 50s. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. Do you guys have this VHS edition? Is yours um, still in the package or has it been opened about a minute ago? Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.